This is Palmer Lutz. He sang baritone with the Foggy River Boys back in 1949. They started out of Springfield, Missouri. They were on the Ozark Jubilee. Palmer was a pretty good baritone singer, but there came a time when he couldn't hear the pitch. You know what I mean? And sometimes he'd be a note or two above the tenor. And, uh, uh, and the tenor, who was Hobart Evans, he was tired of it, and he said, get rid of Palmer, I am tired of this. Uh, and it, Hobart went out and farmed a quartet on his own. And he found, over here, and he found, when Hobart, when Hobart found Purvis Short, he said Purvis would be the perfect, he would be the perfect second tenor. I think the bass for that group was Hurtis Mislap. Hurtis <laughs> learned, <laughs> learned to sing bass from a well-known bass singer from Atlanta, Georgia named Asel, uh, A. this is a true name, A-C-E-L, -A Asel Soward was the original bass singer of the Homeland Harmony Quartet with Shorty Bradford, Leroy Abernathy, and Otis McCoy sang the baritone. I could talk, I could talk to you about quartet members uh, uh, Ad nauseum. Forever. Gifford Vardaman <laughs> played the piano for him for a while. Gifford didn't have real good rhythm, you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes he would be a song or two behind the, uh, <laughs> for the quartet, so he didn't last very long. But, uh, and so he came up here and retired. He retired and catch a can. And uh, his, his tongue is in the museum downtown <laughs> now. But, I mean, <laughs> it better make you want to tune in to Homecoming Radio, folks. I don't but uh, <laughs> and uh, 